Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna go through the Cybionics app. I'm gonna open the app and go through every single feature to show you exactly what it does and why it's different from other CGMs. And as you know, Cybionics is a CGM. I'm wearing one right here. Um, decent size, sturdy. I already made a video unboxing it and showing you how to wear it. So um, yeah, go back in the videos, have a look at it. Now let's open the app. So now I am on my own app. Uh, as you see, my blood sugar is nine millimoles per liter and it's going up. This is because I just had a chocolate bar, but the insulin is gonna kick in in a sec. So what I'm gonna show you is, we're gonna go through every single feature. Um, I'm gonna show you that my blood sugar is um, just like everyone else. I've got my good days, I've got my bad days. Recently, I've been very ill, so it hasn't been the greatest, but I'm doing this video right now on purpose to kind of show you this. So first of all, let's go through the first page. So the monitoring, it shows you the monitoring of the whole day up to 24 hours, but then you can split it. So as, as you see right now on the screen, it's showing you the past three hours only. You can switch to six, you can switch to 12, you can switch to 24, whichever is good. As you see, as I said, I've been very ill lately that I have become very insulin resistant, hence I have all uh, the blood sugar all over the place. So at the, at, this, at the first page, which I call the home page, you've got your blood sugar, you've got the days remaining, you've got the last update, um, you've got the time frames as I showed you, and then when you scroll down, you've got the events. I have no events uh, uh, booked in or created so it here shows that there isn't any events i'm going to go through the events in a second anyway to show you exactly what it means at the top right you've got a screenshot button where if you click on it it shows you a screenshot and you can send it to whoever you need to send it to and then a notification bell so this is the home page it has basically nothing it's, it's very simple um, but this is the page that you're going to use the most because after all you want to use this uh, app for to measure your blood sugar however it gets very interesting from here before going into the plus sign where it shows all the inputs that you can do we're going to go through the daily log so daily log this is one of the days that i had this is the 12th of september as you see at the top you can change the days whenever whatever you want so you can check whichever day you need um it shows you first of all your average glucose which is important it is basically the average glucose it's the the the, the range of your blood sugar throughout the 24 hours and um, it shows you the time in range which is the titr that we use uh, it's very important to know this for your um, if you if you ever see a physician or if you ever see a coach or a diabetes manager they would want to improve this this is probably the most important metric to work on is your time and target or time and range right here that day i had it as 93.4 percent which is great i always try to target over 90 percent however it's not it doesn't necessarily happen every day i have my days where it's awful i've got my days where it's under 50 percent um as i said lately i've been ill so lately it's been it's been probably under 50 percent under 60 percent at least or under 70 percent so um don't freak out when you see this at the bottom just below this you've got time above range so it says time above range tar which means how so during the day what was the percentage that your blood sugar was above the range that you've input. So right here, I've input my range to be four millimoles per liter to nine millimoles per liter. You can see it here at the bottom. So that 4.9%, the TAR at the top, is showing these, uh, well, you can't see me pointing, of course, but it's basically showing anything outside that um, light blue zone, but at the top of it. And the one beside it is time below range. You click on it, it shows you. So again, it shows you the time below that rectangle that we have. These metrics, you might think that these metrics are useless, but it's actually important for your um, physician or coach to see this, or your nurse to see this, because it will show you what you need to work on. So for example, if your time in range is, uh, sorry, if your time above target is, uh, or time above range is like 20%, 30%, then you know you've got an issue. You need to you need to work on not 
uh, remaining hyperglycemic for a long time and that's and then you need to think about all right am i taking the right background insulin am i taking the right amount am i taking the right type um are these spikes uh, made because i'm not taking more short acting insulin do i need to change my diet do i need to exercise more etc etc same with the time below range time below range um if it's a lot it means that you're going through a lot of hypoglycemia which is very harmful ends up messing up your diet you end up having lots of sugar to kind of tackle it so it's a very important metric scroll down again is i think i think the events is just everywhere so yeah we we'll ignore it so yeah you just have the chart and as i said at the top you can pick whichever day you need skip the plus sign we go to the agp reports so scroll up agp reports what you see here is the averages pretty much so again this shows the past 14 days. So if I click on seven, 14, 30, 90, and then you can even have a customized one, um, you're in control of what you wanna see. So within the past 14 days, my average blood sugar was 8.7 millimole per liter. It's advising me, telling me that it needs to be under 8.5 millimole per liter. I'm fully aware of this because I know for a fact that I need my blood sugar to average between six, between five and seven uh, millimole per liter. Um, GMI is the glucose, glucose management indicator. So it uses the average sensor. Uh, it can be used as an indicator of how well your glucose have been controlled. So you've heard of the HbA1c test. It's similar to that. It shows you the average of that duration. HbA1c is for three months, so it's for the 90 days. So this is the, so if you click on 90, this would be your HbA1c. That's seven percent. But as we're doing 14, it's just the same kind of concept, but under 14 days so you have a target you want to reach my target is definitely not seven percent seven percent isn't great for me but again if your hb1c or your gmi is seven percent uh abnormal network okay it is seven percent um it's not a problem you just try to work on improving it right it's not the end of the world now if you scroll down you get time in range shows that the range of uh, normal network environment again I, this just shows up but it's not it's not a problem at all because it sometimes it happens when there is a, a problem with the connectivity with the bluetooth connectivity but uh, yeah it's working fine it shows that the su suggested target is over 70 percent mine is 65.6 percent in these 14 days which means that my target isn't great you want your target the higher your time and target is the better of course like you tr i i try to aim for 90 percent as i said you always try to aim for higher you always try to improve for higher and then uh, uh below that we've got a tar tar which is time above range so it's very similar to the other metric that we had so it shows you the percentage of time that glucose levels are in the high range and then the other one is time below range so it's very similar to the other one but in percentages coefficient of variation is a standardized measure that assesses the magnitude of glucose variability the larger the cv percentage the larger the variability in CGM reading. So in other words, is the volatility. So for example, if your uh, percentage is high, it means that you have there is a huge difference between your reading. So you're going probably very low in blood sugar and then you're going high and then low and then high. Why is this metric here? Because then, you know, people would think it's, 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 it's there is no point of it because you have already time and target. No, there is because Imagine this, if your blood sugar is low, high, low, high, low, high, which is something unhealthy and it's not meant to be that way, your average will be perfect. And this is exactly what you don't want, as opposed to someone whose blood sugar is actually kind of linear and both of them will have the same average pretty much. So the coefficient of variation is good for you to know because you need to have a low CV percent because it says that the, the larger the CV percent, the larger the variability in CGM readings is. You don't want your blood sugar to be uh, very variable, right? You wanna, you have a range, you wanna stick to it. When you scroll down, you've got ambulatory glucose profile. So I think, so basically, I'll just read it for you, which is basically the AGP. This is, this is the whole report. AGP is a summary of glucose values from the report period with median 50% and other percentiles shown as if they occurred in a single day. So again, in, 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 a, in simple form, you want to be hitting the green zone here. So you've got that green rectangle. This is the range that you had. 
it shows if I take myself as an example during that 14 day period it shows that there was a lot of yellow and a bit of red and a lot of orange you want to minimize that as much as possible then we're gonna to go to the profile interesting stuff that's my name yeah I need to update my photo actually again if I click on events it's everywhere it's gonna be the same I didn't put any events if I click on devices the one underneath it shows all the devices that I had with the serial number which is quite important because if you have an issue then you can call the supplier and basically talk to them about it but it's going to ask you for the sensor code or serial number and so on if I click more data I'm not sure actually what's going to show up now oh, it shows the reading so it shows the exact uh, so if you look at the first reading it was taken at 2144 the one underneath 2139 the one underneath 2134 so it takes readings every five minutes which is great and then these are my readings let's go back alarm settings you decide to set the alarm the way you want it so you have a range my range is low glucose at 3.9 um high glucose <clears throat> where it gives me an alarm is 13.9 but to me if I go anything above 9, 10, I would treat it, okay? But this is because it's going to alarm you. I don't want to be alarmed every, you know, minute or so. Normally, I have this as 10, but as I said, because of the illness that I had, I had to set it up a bit higher. Urgent low, 3.1 millimole per liter. And this is where it actually overrides everything. It overrides your do not disturb. It overrides your silent. I think all of them, they override your phone if it's on silent, which is a good thing, especially if you have a kid. You want to know exactly uh, what's happening with their blood sugar. You want to be alert to it. If you go back, reminders. I don't have any reminders. It's going to be the same as events. So just go back. You just set a reminder for whatever you need. I'm going to show you. Data sharing is interesting. So with Cybionics, it's very good to have the option to share your data either with your professionals or with your family or friends. So especially for parents it's really important for them to have access to their kids data if they have diabetes parents always want to you know be on top of their management they want to know uh, how their blood sugar is acting oh sorry how their blood sugar is acting is it um are they in a dangerous situation or not as a coach myself it's very important for me to have access to that for my clients so it's interesting to have that if i click on it i was going to show basically your sharer and your follower and so on it's very easy to set up i didn't set it up set it up yet because i don't have any clients or relatives that are using cybionics yet help um how to apply the sensor and so on you wouldn't be here you wouldn't be at that stage anyway if you didn't know how to apply the sensor so i'll leave that to you to dig into now look at the bottom we've got something called SciWatch. Cybionics actually have a glucose monitoring watch which I believe I will make another video on about to talk about it in details but it's mind-blowing because I haven't seen this what I've seen is other companies integrating their app into Apple watches uh, other smart watches but to have your own watch could be a good thing could be a bad thing i don't know i i don't have one i didn't test one myself but i'm probably gonna trial one just how i tried this sensor and uh, i'll probably make a video about it right so now let's get into the very interesting bit clicking the plus sign 